talk about our spiritual, emotional, psychological, and social life issues, but from a Christian perspective. I am Angie Amiatris, a proud member of New Life World Mission Youth Church, and I am here with my beautiful guys, also from the same church with me. Youth Church Generation of Power and Excellence. So viewers, today's discussion is how to cope with emotional changes. Guys, today's discussion is about how to cope with emotional changes. But before I forget, let me welcome our late camera. Ivans Bwachi Adam. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so, <laughs> so can you please tell us why you were late a little because you are dealing with time. Oh, okay, okay, sorry, sorry. The traffic in Alaska. Oh. Okay, so our first question is when we talk about emotional changes what comes in mind because emotions are the feelings that we get within us and how our body reacts to it so what do we mean by emotional changes i like to start when we talk about emotional changes it's when there is strength in your emotions that's all Right. In other words, one can also say that um, emotional changes are the differences in uh, emotions within a certain period of time. And it can be a long period, and it can be a short period, and it depends on the situation. Really? Yeah. So, Kevin, I want to say that. Oh. oh. Changes in how we think, we should feel about ourselves. Okay, so our next question is what, how, how can we identify emotional change? Like, do you get the question? Like, when this is an emotion, how will you identify that? Yes, this this thing is an emotional change. Okay, okay. Ah, it says she has opened the she has opened the door. She's giving it a mighty door. I jumped up from the bushes. I can't. And what I would come from what she was saying. Talk about how we can identify emotional change. The first thing that you have to know is the current mood that and the current expression that we're having. All right. So let's say maybe we're in a happy mood. That was to express your emotion as happy, happy person, like moving around. Then something happens and all of a sudden your happiness has turned into something else either rough anger or something and you know that there's there have been what a change within this that period of time there have been what a change the time factor is very necessary amen amen should i move on or you like to add some yeah, yeah. or they or they said it all. Yeah. Okay, so what is the difference between mood swing and emotional change? <laughs> Thank you.
I will not let you talk again because you are all sitting there and you always want to talk first. So maybe you'll be the last or maybe somewhere in the <laughs> Let's open no, the when I asked you, you say she said it or oh, yeah. Let's yeah. open the door. <laughs> okay, then she has opened the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I'll enter. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Entry to the door that I start open The difference is the time. Yes, that is the difference. With emotion, uh, mood swinging, it's a sudden change. Many second, second. But when you talk about emotion, emotional change, that one, the period of time is a little bit then it's yet done. And there's no swing. And no swing, you're just. In a twinkle of one time. Yeah, just a passion. Okay, so one time. Okay, so like, I would like to make some examples to differentiate. So when, when you say about mood swing, let's say I'm here and I just receive a message. Yeah, okay, yeah, happy, 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 happy. And maybe I just received a message like maybe this is this, this. my ability for other, maybe my my sister or something is there. Just right now, like my mood will just change. That one is a short period of time. Understand? But I say mood changes, like emotional changes. That one will start from your brain, like your brain. So I best that's what I do. How you process this, so it will take a certain period of time. You understand? So it will take a certain period. So let me bring it to be the Christians. Like you be a Christian, something can attack you. When they don't want to attack you, firstly attack you from your brain. You understand? So it depends on how you treat or how you go about it or how you control yourself. You understand? So this is the example that I want to be saying. Yeah, with the control, I, I think you get there because it's how to How to how to get it. Okay, okay let's start. I'll try and come back. You understand? How to go with the brain and go with the brain. Right, and I learned that um, it normally happens with the girls, our ladies, that the streets. Yes. Yeah. They say that during their menstruation period, some, some, not all, some of them experience mood swing. Yeah. That is where you can really see it. Because you can say, uh, the abaya will be sitting there all of a sudden. Now. It's not mine, and and we the boys when we don't have money, when we have money, when you can like make that totally, you see that 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 that you see 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 that you that you see that root of evil is money so why is it that as a christian to you be thinking about money 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 no, it's not like christian i'll be thinking about money money but money also matters yeah yeah that. money matters money. maybe me christian i'm going to church i don't have maybe money to, for my transportation offering and other stuff I'm, like me feel okay I'm, yeah, yeah. Okay even if even if you don't busy. give a friend, the pastor will not look at you. Kind of you like that. So that is how it is. Like it's not that they love money, but they want to use um, their money. Like in everything. Like Stacy said that money answered all things, but we are here for emotions. So let's try and give it. Well. And my mother here said the girls. It's not only the girls. As boys, we are getting adults. Have to like you experience some strange emotions that yes, so it's not only the girls when you say the girls are inspired. Yeah, he said our lady. Yes. <laughs> so we then yes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you are all believers. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. So as a believer, how do you deal with emotional changes personally? As for me, me, if, if this 
I who changes my emotion. I'll give it to you. Yes, I'll give it to you. Very often. When I'm happy, you are enjoying my bad ride. You come, you just put your hands in. You not tell me. I'll just give it to you. Go and buy my. Go and buy it. Because yes, our attack is there. Yes. Yeah, I don't want that. But the Bible also tells us to forgive. So why would you just attack? Because yeah, you said you are a believer. I think he has. I think he has done it to you before. That's why you are saying. No, I've done anything like that. No, no. Okay, okay. So the be patience, like will you say it and let the person hear it or like you say it?
about the issue. Hey, 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 hey. It's like you're putting petrol in fire, and if there was fire, or try to quench fire with water. That so I don't like it. So I'll just move. I will move and far away. Where my mind? Try to calm myself down. But when I'm in front of you, I'll give it to you. Either yeah, slap, you sort or whatever. Yes. So and I'm giving it. I give it to you for you to get to enter you. And I have to see your special expression that it has changed. If there are not I'll still give it to you. Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> that is it. But now and it is like God is having me like prayer. I, I give the issue to God and God is it. God is helping me so much more. And me isolating myself for a while to it. And I mean a in the place of my the issue is between me and elderly person. That one day I was just standing there praying. But I can't I can't move. You move it like and you can't give it to them. And I can't give it to the person. <laughs> too, so I just have to keep speaking in tongues to come and say that. At times I pronounce scriptures and it's really helpful. So if you are having my issue like anger issue, you can try this to me. <laughs> me self will be fine. Okay. So our last but not the least question is like it's like opposite to what we just asked. The first one was personal. So. Our last question is, in our everyday life, like, as for this one, is general. So, in our everyday life, how can we deal with our emotional change? Because every day you'll be meeting new friends, you'll be making friends, talking with your friends, and doing all other stuff. So, how can we deal with our emotional changes? point in the understanding. I need to understand like I need to understand my friend and how the situation is understand if you are if you are getting me right you need to understand and have patience. So 
grace to have the understanding and others that I can control everything. So you can see someone like you coming to your life. With my see, with my Bible show before the other body, how you increase and how you control yourself and understand everything. Okay. Uh, I'll give you to me. I'll give you to the general public. I'm glad that all of us, according to the God's wishes, we can see that we are all of the view that uh, we can control our emotions. Yeah, but not uh, the other way around that. The other school of thought is taking that. It's just your emotions and that nothing can be done. Yeah. God bless us for that. Um, the first thing I would say is you have to start before. The moment you want to control your emotions, you have to start with God. Because the first thing that you have to know is that you know that it's God that gave you have created the emotions. It's not by chance. So, if you want to correct or control, you have to go to the owner of the table. As I always use gadgets and their manuals for these, like, for example, for these situations. Like I said, oh, the moment you buy a gadget, there is a manual attached to it. Or the owner cannot follow you to your house. So, he has given his voice in the written form to you. And follow these steps and use the gadget to be efficient to you for a long time. If you ignore, uh, like you ignore it and go by your own way, you may not use it efficiently as you want. Again, so you have to start with God who created it. And starting with God is reading the scriptures to know what the scriptures really talks about it. Because with scriptures is saying that control. I say I'm a man without a control is a city without war. So if you know this, something will promise you that I have to control this, that this thing that is happening. And the next thing that you have to do is to watch that is personal uh, initiative. Waffle well, a little form. You watch it. Be vigilant. You watch what is going on. If you know that the moment uh, I listen to news, I get this fear in me. Stop watching it or limit the rate at which you watch it. If you know that social media is letting you feel like inferior, makes you feel like I'm not part, I'm not fit in. Limit the rate you visit. It's a movie. 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 Guys, so you have to be vigilant with what is Alright, the next one that I will say is, I already said it when I was talking to my friends, and it's prayer. Prayer. You have to pray. You get it. And prayer is, you read James chapter 4, verse 8. It said that, get close to God and get close to Him. And the moment we are talking about relationship, one key thing that we look for is communication. Alright, so they will say that, you have a relationship with this lady or this man, this gentleman. What they will be looking for is what? Communication and then the behavior. So if there is no communication, it's assumed that there is no relationship. So you have to communicate with God. Tell him your issues. As I said, well, I was having I'm having anger issues. I went to God and this is it. Is it it's not about anointing, it's not about this. This is my problem. I have this issue. So God help me. I believe that way. Go to God in these days. God will help you. The last thing that we take uh, somebody will we continue with it. You have to think on the truth. The truth. God gave Joshua and Mali a command that meditate upon this day and night. Meditate upon the truth. The truth is the way. And our, even our show is about the truth. The truth. So uh, if you listen to these days and uh, these discover, discussable uh, uh, topics and we are discussing, think about it. It will help you a lot. And when you read, Philippians chapter 4, verse 8 to 9. 8 to 9. 8 to 9. He said that anything that is honorable, anything that is loved, anything that is honorable. So he was making, make, making mention of good things. And he said that think of these things. Think about these things. It will not work. Be thinking about positive things. I'm good. I, I, I'm, like, I'm a good boy. I have good control. I, I, I'm, I'm sociable. I'm this. I'm nice. If you, I, I have fear of God, I have the power of God, I, I cannot be this. So, so you'll be thinking about this and you'll be uh, like pronouncing them in 
your life. And I believe that the moment you make this a practice, fear and these things, anger and these things cannot overcome you. Amen. Amen. So, so, before we wrap up, this show, when we started, I made mention that it's from the Christian perspective. So, in summary, I would like you to end with scriptures which talked about emotions. So, um, the scripture that I will use to attach um, is this. I'll quote from Isaiah 41 verse 10. The Bible said, Do not be afraid. I am, I am with you. Do not be discouraged. I am your God. I will stretch you and help you. Um, this means that um, in time that we are facing emotional changes, just we don't have any to deal with it. That we have God and we have the strength of the Lord, which will help us fight against any emotional change. And my own is that I will go from 1 Peter 2 5 verse 7. It says, Cast all your burdens on me, him, because he cares for you. So this is why I'm saying this because if you are in rest, then maybe you are missing. Okay, so now I would like to be judged by this guy. Oh, no, no, no. Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. The B, I'll, I'll take from the B. The Spirit fills us with power, love, and what? Self control. So from this one, teach us that you can control any emotion that can be you understand you can have self-control about every emotion from the Bible that says that the spirit faith has the power love and what is the you can have control about every emotion And John 10 30 said, I and my father are one. So if you and your father are one, what he did, you can also do it. So you must cry. Yeah. Yes, you cry. Yes, you yes, cry. Yes. Very yes. spiritual. Yes, you cry. Spiritual cry. Yes. All right. Since I was having anger, you shall come from the blood. James chapter 1, verse 19. Let us understand this, my beloved brethren. Let everyone quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to take offense, and slow to get angry. Verse 20, that for man's anger does not promote the righteousness of God. So the anger of the Lord, the anger of man will not promote. So if you have an anger, you should let these scriptures come to you and let you know that you have to get you all for your time and god bless you Amen. Oh, thank you for responding yeah. okay so viewers we also thank you all for spending such a precious time because time and ties wait for no man but you spent your time to listen to the truth so we thank you also but we, before we close can we have a word of prayer our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for such a precious time. 
God as we've talked about how to overcome emotional changes help everyone who wants to overcome his or her emotional changes so that he or she will give thanks to you this and many more we ask in your mighty name amen so viewers don't forget to like share and subscribe until we meet again bye bye god bless you also